Come here. Come on. Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy, and today's story time is so special because we're starting a brand new chapter series. Huh? Who's that? Come on in. Hi, Miss Booksy. Did somebody say new chapter series? You guys, these are my friends Walla and Zoro. Can we be in the story? Well, what story is it? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Bears? Ooh, can I be Goldilocks? You know what, I have a great idea. What if you and Zora were Goldilocks' best friends in the story? Hmm. Yes, I love it! Okay. Great, okay, let's all do it. Wiggle, snap, story time. So there once was a young girl named Goldilocks. She had beautiful, long, golden hair. Um, hello? <clears throat> I mean, she used to have long golden locks way back when she was a little girl. Do, 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 do. I love playing with my train set. Goldilocks, oh Goldilocks, it's time to do your homework. Oh man, you stay right there, conductor. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, mom, what do I have today? Math, phonics, geography, typography, phonography. <laughs> <laughs> Just some spelling. And after you do that, I need you to go next door and borrow a cup of flour from the neighbors. I'm making your favorite, pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Mmm, I love that. <laughs> Done, BRB, I'm gonna see about that flour. But as Goldilocks walked next door, it started to get cold out and a little drizzly. Grr, I better make this quick. And just as Goldilocks went to ring the doorbell, there was a bolt of lightning that hit the house and the electric current rushed through young Goldilocks' body. Don't worry, it didn't hurt or anything. It was just a magical electric jolt. What? Hey, Mom, sorry, they weren't home. Maybe I can try later. I was hoping that... Um, Goldie? Um, uh, Mom? Your hair! My hair? My... Wait, what? I mean, it's beautiful, I'm just surprised. Ooh, I like it. It must have been those magical sparkles. That sentence should make me nervous. And from that day forward, she always had brown hair. Yep, but everyone still called me Goldilocks cause, well, that's my name. Goldilocks, oh Goldilocks. Here we go again. Hey mom, do I have to do my homework? <laughs> no, I just wanted to ask what you wanted to do for your birthday? Well, I've always wanted to go on a camping trip with my friends. Sounds like a great idea. Why don't you call them up and invite them? Hey, Walla. Hi, Goldie. Sup? Want to do a camping trip with me this weekend? Ooh, you know I'm up for anything. Yes, let's call Zoro. Hi, guys. Zoro, are you ready for a super amazing adventure this weekend? Um, maybe. Camping trip, camping trip, camping trip. <laughs> We're going on a camping trip to celebrate my birthday. You know you're coming with. Um, I think I have to wash my hair. Come on, Zoro. You can wash your hair in nature's shower, a waterfall. I'm not so sure. I may be sick. <coughs> oh, Zoro, look, it sounds like a camping trip might be making you a little nervous, but I promise we'll all stick together and if things get hairy, we'll just come back and camp out at my house. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I think I can do that. So they all packed their bags for their camping trip. They met up and went on their way. This is gonna be so much fun. I packed lots of games and flashlights and of course snacks. Yeah, maybe you should pull that flashlight out right now. It's starting to get dark. Uh, and I just felt a raindrop. Oh man, our tent is not waterproof. Hey, I see a light over there. Come on, let's go. Good. I hope they're home. Oh. oh. Sorry, guys. That doorbell woke me up from my evening nap. You scared me. I wasn't scared. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? Well, we're on a camping trip. But like, it's really cold and dark and creepy. And we just wanted to take a break somewhere warm. <laughs> oh well, the bear family always- Bears? Did you say bears? Where? Who? What? So um, 
A family of bears lives in this house? Yeah, but... Whoa, maybe we're related. I'm a koala bear. Nah, these are your typical big, proud, large, hungry, hairy bears. Oh. Um, maybe we should just step back. This way. No, they aren't even home. Oh. Let me tell you a little about this bear family. A bear, mama bear, and baby bear. I'm not really a baby. I'm like a big kid. But everyone still calls me baby. Oh, well. Well, who are you talking to, baby? Uh, no one. Okay, clean up your place. Okay, Ma. Hold on. Let me get this on camera. Wait a minute. Why would the Papa Bear film the family doing literally nothing special? Because they're a family of bear vloggers. Ooh, actually, I think I've seen their channel before. Yeah, they just film their daily lives. Oh. Back to the story. So while Papa Bear was filming Baby cleaning up her breakfast, he heard a loud knock at the door. Who could that be so early in the morning? Um, ho there, friend. How can I help you? Hello, Bear family. I'm here to present you with a challenge. Ooh, I love challenges! This is a scavenger hunt, and all the family vloggers are participating. Here's your briefcase. One quick question, businessman. Goodbye. Um, okay. Open it! Open it! Open it! Okay, let's see. The first clue says, see if you can keep up the pace, meet at the wolf's house for a race. Let's go. So the bear family sped off to the big bad wolf's house. <laughs> I've been waiting for some victims. Ahem, I mean uh, participants to come and race me. Let's go, wolf. Wait, so who won the race? I hope it was Baby Bear. Well... A tie? Ugh, I do not like a tie. Wolves like to win. Wanna go again? No. Ugh, I have to go scare some little pigs now. Whatever. Here is your next card. It says, your next challenge is to work together and bake Go get ingredients for strawberry cupcake. Mmm, my favorite. So they went to the store to get yummy ingredients. So, what happened next? I don't know. They're still at the store. They've been at that store for a while, though. Ooh, I hope they come back soon, because I love, love, love strawberry cupcakes. With sprinkles on top? Yeah. So, uh, is there something I could help you with? Oh, sorry. I mean, maybe we can just go inside for a few minutes to take a little break. Yeah, I need to put my tootsies up. We've been walking for hours. Zorro, it's literally been like seven minutes. Still, I'm tired, okay? You think they'd mind, Bird? Ah, not at all. They're very welcoming. But I'll stay out here and keep watch for any mountain lions. Mountain lions? Well, they sure left in a rush. Yeah, look at this place. Whoa! Ah, this is the life. Ooh, here's a big giant eggplant parmesan. <coughs> nah, too tomato-y. And here's a kind of mommy-sized fruit salad. Mm, I don't know, a little too tart. Oh look guys, a teeny tiny little baby-sized smoothie. Ooh, come on, have a try. Ah, <sighs> just, just right. right. Now let's go see about some chairs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Let's go investigate. Oh, hello. Ah, ah, not lines. Quick, put a blanket on the window and he won't see us. Good idea. Uh, guys. Shh. Uh, you guys. Mr. Bird, OMG, don't look now, but you're right next to a mountain lion. Run, save yourself. Run! Run! You guys! What? what? This is Mac, mountain lion, the delivery guy? Oh. oh. 
<laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> the Bear family ordered a bunch of new chairs. He was just talking about chairs. Well, I'm off. I have some ottomans to deliver to a goat family nearby. Ooh, let's test these chairs out. Ooh, so spacious. Yeah, I could get used to this. I wonder what this lever does right over Whoa. here. Whoa, that was fun. <laughs> but maybe a little too dangerous. Next. Oh, my booty feels a little squished. Yeah, but look, it has wheels. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> too spinny. Wow, that first chair was too dangerous, and this chair is too... Nauseating. Well, there's one more chair to try. Ah, just, just right. right. So the three friends settled in and watched some shows on TV. I want my pick. No, I want my show pick. Hey guys, how about we just watch some cool school on YouTube? Yeah! Meanwhile, back at the food store, the Bear family was continuing their scavenger hunt. Okay, we have flour, we got sugar, eggs, baking soda, and vanilla. We still need butter. It's strawberries! And we only have three minutes on our time left. Quick, run! Butter! Strawberries! Run, everybody! Run! Oh, oh no. no! We'll never make it in time! Hold on! You just have to wait, baby bear. Your mama has superpowers. She does? Step right up. What? I know the owner. Mama, you're so cool. Let's just get the stuff and go. Back at the bear's house, things were getting a little silly. Cabin fever was settling in. Hey guys, watch me balance this teapot on my head. Whoa. <laughs> hey guys, how many of these crackers do you think I can shove in my mouth at once? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Look at me! Everything is topsy-turvy! <gasps> we wanna, wanna try! try. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Everything seems so backwards from down here! Yeah! The ceiling's on the floor and the floor's on the ceiling! Whoa! <laughs> Ouch! I really need to stop doing aerobics when I'm not warmed up. Kids, don't forget, the Bear family was on their way back to their house. <clears throat> Maybe we should find somewhere to rest. Yeah, and take a long sleep. I'm not kidding, kids. They would be back at their house any minute, and these guys are talking about sleeping. I can't wait to get home and stop making these cupcakes. And then we still have more clues for our scavenger hunt. This day is awesome! Totally, totally awesome! awesome. <sighs> Man, I'm really getting sleepy. We should find somewhere to rest. Exploration time! Hey guys, a bed! Looks cozy. Wait, Walla and Zoro, stay still. You look so cool, I want to paint a portrait of you. Wow, very modern. <laughs> <sighs> Cannonball! So the group of friends tried out the first bed. It was really big though, so they felt way too far apart. Guys, I think this bed is too... Lonely. Huh? I can't hear all the way over here. Guys, I say we try the next room. Let's go! Whoa, this is so cool. I think I can see Jupiter. And look. Let's try. But since the bed was round, whoa, whoa, I can't keep my balance. Whoa. Yeah, sorry guys, this bed is too wobbly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Next. I've always wanted to go to a carnival. And I've always wanted to go on a merry-go-round. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> I think I need a break. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm getting really sleepy. OMG, you guys, look! This looks... Just right. 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 We are home! Whoa, whoa. Oh, hold on, there's... Uh-oh. Uh, uh what happened here? Somebody's been eating my eggplant parmesan. And someone's been eating my fruit salad. Hey, I wanted that. It was organic. And someone drank all my smoothie. What in the what? This is a mystery. Oh look, our delivery of chairs came from Amazon. But it looks like they've all been tampered with. This is all so weird. Somebody's been sitting in my recliner. It has three little booty marks in it. And someone has been spinning in my desk chair. The wheels are all twisted. Oh my. And someone's... Oh, hold up, this is really comfy. I'm starting to fall. Yes, I mean, someone's been sitting in my beanbag chair. Well, this simply will not do. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like a trumpet or a duck or... A snoring fox. What? That's oddly specific. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's no snoring fox in our house. I have impeccable hearing. I know a snoring fox when I hear one. Let's investigate! To our rooms! Okay, now I'm starting to get a little bothered here. Someone's been messing with my paints. Um, you guys, what is this? A box, Dad! I knew it! But how? Quick, check my room! <laughs> hmm, nothing too suspicious here. <gasps> what? Is it bad? Is there a clue? Oh, I don't know about that, but the clouds look like teddy bears. Okay, okay, to the last and final room. Come on! <gasps> Someone is sleeping in my tent! <gasps> Uh-oh! You've been caught red-handed! Someone's been sleeping in my tent! Uh-oh! What's going on in here? Huh? What happened? Where am I? Mommy? Zoro, shh! I think we might be in a pickle here. Ooh, I want a dill pickle. Shh! No, Walla! A pickle? Like, I think we're in trouble. <clears throat> Please explain yourselves, strangers. And did you eat my fruit salad? She did it! it. Hmm. Quick, run! Please don't bite me! What? I would never! I'm vegan! And my mama told me it's not nice to bite, which reminds me of this one time when I was biting down on a lollipop and my tooth quacked. And... Um, I, I don't mean to interrupt or be rude here, but are we going to continue this whole epic chase scene or what? Well... Well... Well, I have a better idea. Why don't they help us make the cupcakes? Did somebody say cupcakes? <gasps> Sounds like a great compromise. Yay! I hope you don't mind being filmed. We're vlogging our whole treasure hunt. Cool! Come on, let's get the ingredients together. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, that was hilarious. Do it again. But then they opened the strawberries. Their next clue was inside. It says... 
The evil stepmother has the thing you're looking for. Come to her house and see what's in store. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> the evil, the evil stepmother. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm not scared of her or anything. It sounds like you're maybe a little scared. <laughs> Me? Ha! Ah! Well. Well, let's all go together. The more the merrier. Yay! Scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <sighs> Doesn't really roll off the tongue. <laughs> so the entire group went over the evil stepmother's house to find the last clue. Well, who's gonna ring the doorbell? Anyone? All right, fine. I'll do it. <gasps> I've been expecting you. What? Where's my pot tie? Huh? Um, I went to the food delivery service. I mean, I can make a mean noodle dish if you... No, Mama Bear. <clears throat> we are here to collect the final clue for the scavenger hunt. Oh, I'm getting hangry over here. They better not have delivered my food to the trolls down the street. Um, hello, the clue? Hey, help me out here. Can you give me an evil face of some sort? Huh? Don't worry about him. So can we come in or what? I guess... Okay, I know I put it somewhere in here. Nope, not that. Oh, here it is. Whoa, wait a minute. That's not your glass slipper. Did you take it from Cinderella? What? Me? Certainly not. I'm just borrowing it for this silly game. Well, you better give it back to her when this is all done. Of course. Ah, open up the clue. I can't wait to find out what it is. It says, join me at my royal castle tonight. Singing, dancing, and snacks. It'll be a sight. Don't let this fun opportunity pass. And bring back my slipper of glass. Guys, I think it's from Cinderella. If there's going to be snacks, I'm Gail. Wait, a party at the royal castle? Like, aka a royal ball? <laughs> This is gonna be epic. You know what? I have a great idea. Whoa! We get to ride that? Sure. Wow, so totally out of character for you to be so kind. People can change. I have a nice side. This is it. So everyone piled into the magical carriage and made their way to the ball. When they arrived, it was awesome. There was chocolate cake, there was a balloon animal maker, there was a puppet show, there was even a conga line! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey look! There's Cinderella! Hear ye, hear ye! Can all my scavenger hunt folks come forward? That's us! I wonder if we win a special prize! Well, I sent you all on this magical scavenger hunt! And it's come to a close here at the Royal Ball. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Since you made it through, your prize is... Yeah? yeah? Really cool. Yeah? yeah? Something we've never done before. Just tell us already. <laughs> oh, ahem. Excuse me. The prize is that every single Friday, you guys get to come to the castle for a super fun, super royal, super special party! Whoa! Mmm, I'd say the snacks here surely are delicious. Count us in! I just gotta check with my mom. Yeah, me too. Whoa, wait, speaking of my mom, we should really be heading back home. Yeah, let's go. It's way past our bedtime. Aw, wish you didn't have to leave. This was so much fun. Yeah, but we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Anytime, friend. 
Excuse me, Cinderella, you don't happen to have a carriage for our friends here, do you? Psh, do I? How about this for a carriage? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> this is awesome! See ya! Bye-bye! Guys, do you have the sudden feeling like we're being followed? Yum! Ah! Wait, you guys, stop! Oh, <laughs> it's just Mac the Mountain Lion, the delivery guy. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you. Well, now I feel sheepish. Just wanted to return this to you. You left it at the bear's house. Oh, I didn't even know I packed that. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. Giddy up! Take us up to the House of Goldilocks, good sir! <laughs> Woo! Ooh. That was epic! <laughs> well, Goldie, it's still technically your campout weekend. Hmm, OMG, I kind of totally forgot about it. <laughs> well, I guess we could still camp out. Zoro, you sure? I think so. I guess our adventure gave you a bit more bravery, huh? Maybe you're right. Let's do it. Well, I'm tuckered out. Me too. Me three. The next morning, it was Goldilocks' actual birthday. Walla and Zorro had a special surprise for her. Happy birthday to Goldilocks. Happy birthday to you. You guys, this is too much. Blow out your candle and make a wish. Okay. <laughs> What'd you wish for? Zorro, she can't tell you. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing. One of my biggest birthday wishes already came true. Hanging out with you guys and going on an awesome adventure. Aww. Well, this has been so cool, but I guess we should pack up and head back home. But what the gang didn't know was that there was an epic surprise waiting for Goldilocks. Surprise! Happy birthday, honey! What the what? Mom! And how did you know to invite my new friends? Honestly, I have no idea who all these people are. But who doesn't love a party? <laughs> this has def been a party-filled day so far. Well, that's what birthdays are for! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Goldilocks! Aw, man. Thanks, guys. <laughs> So that's it. That's the story of my totally out of this world birthday camping trip slash encounter with a family of bears slash scavenger hunt slash amazingly fun time. Yep, that's the story of me, Goldilocks, and the three bears. Wow, you guys, that was such an awesome story. And Walla and Zora are such fun new friends. I hope we see more of them in other stories. Hmm, what's the next one gonna be? Dr. Doolittle, Snow White, Peter Pan, ooh. Bye, see ya. All I have in here is raisins and candy corn, yuck! What happened to all my good candy? I know exactly what to do. We'll have to catch that candy crook and teach him a lesson. Hi there, kids! Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading Sleepy Hollow. 
Jiggle, snap, story time! I'm Katrina Von Tassel, and I live in a quiet town called Sleepy Hollow. The town is full of silly ghosts and ghouls. <laughs> These guys are real pests. Sleepy Hollow is the best place to celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Not only because of the ghosts. <laughs> the main reason is the town is numero uno for trick or treating. All of the neighbors give out the best candy. I can't wait. <laughs> Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry. It's only me, Ichabod. Seriously, Ichabod, that was so candy corny. <laughs> Are you ready to go trick-or-treating? Yeah, let's do it! So off we went. Trick-or-treating was so much fun. My arm is getting sore from carrying all this candy. Mine too. Let's go home so we can split it up. Yeah, sweet and sours, chocolates, chewy things, and then the gross stuff. Yuck, like candy corn and who eats raisins on Halloween. Ew! Ah, hey, watch it! Why, hello. Looks like you did very well this year. May I take a closer look at your candy? Yeah, sure. I guess. Hmm, looks like you've got my favorites. Chocolates, chewies, and my horse loves the sweet and sours. Don't you, Mr. Horse? No, sir. I don't like it. Eek! Uh, that horse talks! Uh, scariest thing ever! Katrina, we should get out of here. Yeah, uh, nice meeting you, whoever you are. <laughs> well, that was weird. Let's go home. Pronto! Phew! <laughs> we made it home. <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened to all my good candy? All I have in here is raisins and candy corn. Yuck! <gasps> we were duped! The person on that horse took all my favorites too! What do we do? I know exactly what to do! We'll have to catch that candy crook and teach him a lesson! Okay, Ichabod. The only way to catch this candy crook is to remember what he looked like. Let's think. I remember the suspect wore a long woolly hat. Okay. I also remember seeing gray hair. There was a sloppy pumpkin head. And this person had a strange voice. And they rode a talking horse. Ugh, that scary Mr. Horse! Who could it be? Let's go back out and catch this thief! We need to find townsfolk who have gray hair and are avid equestrians. You know, horse riders. And off they went, back into the cold and windy night, knocking on the doors of people who had gray hair. First stop, Red Riding Hood's grandma's house. Oh, hello, children. It's a little late for trick-or-treating. Here, how about some mints? Uh, no thanks. But can you answer a quick question? When was the last time you rode a horse? Oh, well, let's see. It must have been about, well, 50. Years ago. Well, that's right. I remember oh. I was just okay. about to go. Post Happy that Halloween! <laughs> that's definitely not our suspect. Let's visit Cinderella's evil stepmother. What do you want? I'm all out of candy. Oh, uh, we're not here to trick or treat. Yes, we're just here to ask you a friendly question. All right, fine, but make it quick. When was the last time you rode a horse? And where were you approximately at 7.30 tonight? Can't you count? That's two questions. First, I haven't been on a horse since I was eight years old. And second, I was home watching Wheel of Fortune. Now goodbye. Who else in this town has gray hair? I know of one more person. Who's there? Trick or, Trick or treat, treat Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, uh, hello. What's that in your hair? Oh, this? Uh, just some pumpkin stuff. But here, I've got lots of candy. Take some and go home. Hey, where did you get that? Oh, you know, around town, different places. Hmm. Wait a minute. Woolly hat. Gray hair. Pumpkin guts. You are so busted, Rumpelstiltskin! You took all of our candy tonight! Oh, I'm sorry! I just, uh, uh, 
ran out of candy and, and needed more to, to give out to the trick-or-treaters. Yeah, that's it. That is no excuse. Yeah, it's a totally lame-o excuse. Stealing candy is not allowed in Sleepy Hollow. Hey, it looks like you caught the candy thief. Nice work, kids. Thanks, officer. <laughs> I didn't mean any trouble. Sorry, Rumpy. Rules are rules. For stealing candy, you gotta wear this lovely holiday sweater for the next three months. Oh man! Hooray! Halloween case of the candy crook solved! And that's the end of the story. I'm so glad they solved the mystery. And now they can celebrate with candy. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye! Time for Storytime games. Here we go! Let's play Spot the Difference. Sleepy Hollow. Can you spot all the differences in these scenes from the story? Here we go! I'm Katrina Von Tassel, and I live in a quiet town called Sleepy Hollow. The town is full of silly ghosts and ghouls. <laughs> these guys are real pests. Sleepy Hollow is the best place to celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Not only because of the ghosts. <laughs> the main reason is the town is numero uno for trick or treating. All of the neighbors give out the best candy. I can't wait. <laughs> Who's there? Boo. Hold on. Did you see something? Let's rewind. <laughs> What seems different to you? Look at this! This wasn't here before. All right, let's watch another scene. Here we go! Let's think. I remember the suspect wore a long woolly hat. Okay, I also remember seeing gray hair. There was a sloppy pumpkin head. And this person had a strange voice. And they rode a talking horse. Ugh, that scary Mr. Horse, who could it be? Let's go back out and catch this thief. We need to find townsfolk who have gray hair and are avid equestrians, you know, horse riders. And off they went, back into the cold and windy night, knocking on the doors of people who had gray hair. First stop, Red Riding Hood's grandma's house. Oh, hello, children. Can you answer a quick question? Pause. Did you see something? Rewind. <laughs> what seems different to you? Look over here. This color is different. All right, let's watch another scene. John? That's definitely not our suspect. Let's visit Cinderella's evil stepmother. What do you want? I'm all out of candy. Oh, uh, we're not here to trick or treat. Yes, we're just here to ask you a friendly question. All right, fine, but make it quick. When was the last time you rode a horse? And where were you approximately at 7.30 tonight? Can't you count? That's two questions. First, I haven't been on a horse since I was eight years old. And second, I was home watching Wheel of Fortune. Now goodbye. Who else in this town has gray hair? I know of one more person. Who's there? Trick, Trick or treat, treat Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, uh, hello. Wait a minute, did you spot the difference? Let's watch that again. What seems different to you? Right over there. How did this get here? That's the last one. Did you find all of them? Nice work. Come back to Cool School for more stories and games with me, Miss Booksy. Bye! Hi kids! Welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Booksy. What story should we read today? Hmm, let's spin the magic wheel. Wiggle, snap, story time. Let's go. Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside. Her magic books, Cinderella's dress in blue, Goldilocks and spinning clock. Wiggle, snap, wiggle, snap. Everybody, wiggle, snap. Wiggle, snap, wiggle, snap. Everybody, wiggle, snap. 
Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Ahem, that's not my real name. That's just what my mean stepsisters and stepmother call me. <laughs> my real name is Ella. Actually, let's begin my story there. I was an only child, but I had a ton of pets. My dad was the greatest dad of all time, and our town was super neat too. One day, my dad told me that he was getting married. <gasps> okay, that's not the terrible part. Somehow, he found the meanest lady ever in the history of meanness. But it wasn't his fault, I guess, because at first she pretended to be so nice. Hello there, Ella. Do you like candy? Yes, ma'am. Hey! Too late. You snooze, you lose. Those were my two new stepsisters, Gritzel and Unga. They never even bothered pretending to be nice. My stepsisters had a real sukasa is mikasa kind of attitude. In other words, they took all my stuff. I want it. Mine! Gimme! Then they said they were scared of all my animals. So scared that my dad had to banish them all to the barn outside. But what about Goldie? Come on, all she does is sit there and go... Take her away! They all have to go! I'm sorry guys, I'll visit you. Whenever my dad was away, the step monsters would treat me like a servant. I did the sweeping. I did the windows. I did the vacuuming. I cleaned nonstop, day in and day out. And I was a mess, always covered in dust and grime, which led to me getting a new nickname. Ew, Ella, you're all covered in cinders from the chimney. Maybe we should call you Cinder Ella. Cinder Ella. Then my dad left for this big fishing trip expedition thingy. That's when my stepmother decided I should move into the barn. It was cold and dark and a little scary, but I had my animals and that was nice. Aw, plus some field mice. Hi guys. <laughs> But I missed my old life, especially my dad. It seems like he had been gone for his fishing trip like forever. <sighs> then I heard the awful news. Extra, extra, awful news. Local dad captured by pirates. Yep, my dad had been captured by a gang of pirates. And to make matters worse, my stepmother and stepsisters didn't even seem to care. He'll be fine. Who cares? I can't worry. It gives me wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> they were the worst. Good thing I still have you guys. <laughs> that night, I had a beautiful dream. My dad was home safe and sound. My stepmother and Gritzel and Unga were nowhere in sight. Amazing, I was all dressed up. And I had the prettiest slippers. It was almost as if they were made of glass. <gasps> What's all that racket? We must get to work immediately. This is so exciting. What's going on? The queen is having a ball and we're all invited. Whoa! I just had a dream that I was dressed up in a beautiful gown. <laughs> just like I was going to a royal ball. That's so funny. <laughs> I have to make a dress and my hair. What am I gonna do with my hair? My stepmother said I couldn't go to the ball. Well, I would just have to find a way, wouldn't I? <laughs> I began preparations in secret. My stepsisters went through dresses like they were going out of style. So I had lots of material to choose from to craft a perfect gown. <laughs> Voila, the most beautiful dress in the world. Oh. One day I was cleaning the attic when I found a box. <gasps> Shoes, these must have belonged to my mom. They were beautiful slippers that looked almost as if they were made of glass. Everything was coming together perfectly. <gasps> but it's not like the royal ball was the only thing I was thinking about. Curiously, I hadn't heard anything about my dad. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Harvey Beeswax, private investigator, at your service. Hi, Mr. Beeswax. My dad was captured by a gang of pirates. I need your help. Pirates, eh? Yes, and my stepmother said that she can't find him, but she's done diddly squat. Diddly squat? That's not enough. I know. So, do you think you can find him? It'll be tough, but I'm the best private eye in the city. If anybody can find your pop, it'll be me. When I got home, I found this. It's mine. No, mine! <laughs> Oops, I didn't like it anyway. Well, at least I still had the shoes. They didn't fit anyway. Welp, back to square one. Meanwhile, hmm, no sign of Cinderella's old man yet, but I'll solve this case. It's finally the day of the ball. Getting Gritzel and Unga ready was no small task. They required bubble baths, manicures, blowouts, 
Finally, my stepsisters were ready for the royal ball. You guys look really nice. Um, we know. <laughs> okay, well, have a great time. <laughs> That's quite enough talk, Cinderella. Goodbye. I'll be honest, I was kind of sad. I retreated to the bar with some snacks. I know, it's pretty cliche, but <laughs> I was sad, okay? And then, I don't know why, but I yelled out, <gasps> If I only had a fairy godmother. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, sugar, but better late than never, right? Who are you? Your fairy godmother. I thought that part was pretty obvious. Whoa. Watch this. Awesome! I know, right? So, how does this work? Do I get, like, three wishes or something? With the wave of my magic wand. I love it! Uh, you won't be dancing with those tootsies. Uh, yeah, I'm due for a mani-pedi soon. Well, stick your hands out and close your eyes, my little ragamuffin love. Bippy boopy blabity boo These are the bomb! Oh, they fit perfect! <laughs> okay, I better get on my way. Oh, wait. Pretty sure the castle is like 48 miles away. That would take approximately 864 minutes if I walk, if I hustle. Cinderella, and... get it together. I'm gonna hook you up. Now go get me a pumpkin, spaghetti squash, any gourd or root vegetable ought to do. How about this? My Halloween bucket. Well, let me just empty it. That'll do, I suppose. Cinderella put the bucket down, and with one more swirl of the magic wand, the bucket became a gorgeous, sparkling carriage. A carriage is kind of like a stroller, but for adults. <laughs> I am going to look so cool riding up in this thing. <laughs> oh, well, you better get a move on. Hey, uh, who's driving this thing? My stepmother wouldn't let me go for my driver's license test. I almost forgot. You, over there. And y'all, over here. Well, we're off. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything, Fairy. <laughs> you're the bestest in all the land. Well, you're certainly welcome. This is going to be the best night of my life. Oh, no. I forgot to tell her about the midnight thing. Yoo-hoo. Cinderella. The fairy godmother caught up to the carriage and shouted after Cinderella. But clearly, Cinderella was having so much fun, she didn't even <laughs> notice. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> You! Uh, you scared me half to death. Cinderella, you can't go yet. Fairy, you gotta cut the cord and let me go. I'm a grown woman. No, I mean the spell. <laughs> Say what now? At midnight, you have to be long gone from the royal ball by then. Uh, I have no intention of leaving when the party is still hopping. No, you absolutely must. No. You have to. No. You have to. If you don't, then all this magic will wear off. There's always a catch. But don't worry about it. Go, enjoy yourself. Just keep track of the time. No prob. I'll set an alarm on my phone. So Cinderella <laughs> continued on her journey to the castle, super excited and super nervous to meet the prince. You guys, this is going to be the best night ever. At the ball, Cinderella is having the time of her life. Woohoo! When suddenly she noticed two very familiar but not so friendly faces, her stepsisters. But the stepsisters didn't even notice her because they were too busy trying to vie for the prince's attention. Oh, by the way, there's the prince. Ooh, Unga, that prince is gonna love my dress. He's totes gonna dance the night away with me. No way, Grits. I'm sure he'll notice my breathtaking eyes and ask me to marry him. Oh, Princey, you look hungry. Let me fetch you a treat. No, I will. Ugh. The whole evening, the prince had been noticing the mystery girl and how happy she looked and how she was being nice to everyone and ate tons of cake without a care in the world. Whoa, she is a seriously cool chica. <laughs> of a klutz. Oh, no, no, it was my mistake. Here, let me help you out. Oh, so, uh, this is some party. Do you, you want to dance? dance? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. oh my oh, gosh. gosh. <laughs> I like your crown. Thanks. I like your dress. Yeah, blue's my favorite color. No way, mine too. 
So next week, uh, we're having this mini golf tournament here at the palace. Do you think you want to come? That sounds awesome! So it's a date. But Cinderella didn't hear the prince because the music had gotten louder and she was feeling the beat. So loud, in fact, that she didn't hear her alarm on her phone ringing. What's that noise? Huh? What's that noise? Oh, it's just my phone. <laughs> oh no, my phone. I gotta go. Wait up! I didn't get your name! Oh no! 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 Oh, oh no! Wait up! Oh no! <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you, beautiful glass slipper, but I gotta go! Wait! You left your shoe! Keep it! Huh? <sighs> At least the carriage is still. Great. <laughs> And so, with one shoe, Cinderella walked all the way home. She wasn't too sad, though. I mean, guys, <laughs> the prince danced with me a ton, and I made so many friends, and I did a conga line, and the limbo, and the robot, <laughs> and I must have had like five pieces of cake. <laughs> it was the best night of my whole life. That happiness lasted all through the next morning, even though her stepsisters were being particularly annoying. The prince is going to ask me on a date. No way! We'll see who he putts with at the Royal Mini Golf Tournament. The Royal Mini Golf Tournament? I almost forgot! I hope that girl from last night doesn't go. She was the worst. What girl? <laughs> this girl's Sandy or something. She hugged the prince for like a whole hour. Gee, <laughs> yeah, I hope she doesn't show up. The big day of the Royal Mini Golf Tournament had finally arrived and Cinderella was there. Awesome, right? Not so awesome. My fairy godmother didn't show up. Meanwhile, my stepsisters are playing miniature golf with the prince. Can my life get any worse? Heads up. Ow. Oh, I guess it can. Oops. Heads up. Hey, do I know you? Eek, the prince. What do I do? Play it cool, Cinderella. Play it cool. Uh, no, not me, mate. You must have me confused with someone else. Uh, right? Yeah. What? Okay, gotta go. That couldn't have been. Or could it? Great. Just great. I blew it. Uh, princes like princesses, right? I cannot let him know that this is the real me. Hey, Cinderella. Uh, what? Uh, who's that? Cinder who? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Beeswax. You got news about my dad? We're getting real close to cracking the case, kid. I got one of my best guys following a pirate ship as we speak. That's great. Uh, what are you doing here? Official palace business. I can't discuss it. But between you and me, the prince has got a crush. Oh, yeah. I mean, sure. Whatever. That's cool. <laughs> Who is it? That's classified, kid. But get this. He doesn't know her name. Go on. Says she showed up at the ball and then she just ran off. Go figure. He thought she'd be here today. But when she didn't show, he called me. So, like, what did he say about this girl? I can't really discuss it because I'm a private eye. The keyword being private. But he says she's super cool. Well, got to get back to work. She could be anywhere. She could be right under my nose. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Well, the good news is, the prince obviously totally likes me! Woohoo! <laughs> the bad news is, I have absolutely no idea what to do. Several days passed, and Cinderella had not heard any news about the prince and his mystery girl. Cinderella, I need a pedicure. Right now? Yes, now. Me too! Haven't you heard? The prince is going around to every house in the queendom to find his dream girl. Say what now? He has this shoe, and supposedly he's going to marry whoever fits into it. So like, our feet need to look good. The prince is coming here? Yeah. And one of us is going to become a princess. Yeah, me. No way, me. Fairy godmother, if there was ever a time when you need to help a sister out, it's now. The prince is here! <laughs> Let me try on that shoe. Me first! No, me! Hi, Princey! Remember me? Sure, yeah. Hi, Pretzel. It's Ritzel. Huh? Looks like it doesn't fit. Sure it does. Perfect! I've never worn such a comfortably fitted shoe. 
<laughs> and there are no other ladies in the house? No. Nada. No siree, Bob. Wait a second. Doesn't Cinderella live here? She lives in a barn. She's totally yuck. Nah, she's a lovely girl. I'll get it for you, Prince. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mr. Beeswax. The prince wants you to try on a shoe. He's still after that mystery girl. Okay. Now I really, really, really wish I had my fairy godmother. Hey, you look awfully familiar. Yeah? <laughs> I'm um, uh, supposed to try on a shoe? Try not to stick it up. Well, what do you know? It fits. It's you. OMG. No way. Sorry I'm late, Cinderella, but your fairy godmother is at your service. <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry, honey. I've been at a fairy magic conference and these trolls crashed the party and it was just a huge old mess. Anyway, what's up? Oh, that's the prince over there. <gasps> oh, he's cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at me. Now he knows I'm not a princess. This is terrible. And now with a wave of my magic wand, I will transform raggedy ragamuffin Cinderella here into a beautiful princess. Finally. <laughs> Wait. Huh? You don't have to change a thing. Cinderella, I like you for you. You don't need a fancy dress or shoes. Hold up, uh, that's really nice and everything, but if my fairy godmother wants to hook me up with some new duds, then I'm a letter. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, fairy godmother, work your magic. Bloopity blabadoo. So it was you the whole time, huh? Right under my nose. Oh, don't worry. You're still my favorite private investigator. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. With all the shoe trying on hubbub, I forgot to tell you. We found your dad. You did? Yeah, my guy called me this morning. He's on the ship of Pirate Krusty Beard. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go rescue Cinderella's dad from the pirates. <laughs> Arg! what are you doing on my ship? We're here to save my dad, you crusty old pirate. My girl. Dad. Who are you guys? Harvey Beeswax, private eye. I'm her fairy godmother. I'm the prince, and may I just say, I like your daughter, sir. Zippity, zamaboo, ta ta, and bye bye. Yay! When we got home, Beeswax put my evil stepmother in the slammer. Turns out, she hired the pirates to take my dad. So evil, right? Anyway, it was pretty much everybody lived happily ever after fairy tale kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, and we decided to let my stepsisters stick around, but they were a lot nicer now that I was a close personal friend of the prince. <laughs> they even started doing their share of the chores. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. Careful what you wish for. I wish for a chance to hang out with the princess. <laughs> we have a new student. This is Katie. Oh, well, hi, Katie. Welcome to story time. Hi, Miss Booksy. <laughs> okay, let's see if the boys and girls at home are ready for a new story. Are you ready for a new story? <laughs> Maybe we need a drum roll. Okay, and get ready for the story of Aladdin and the Magical Lamp. Aladdin the Dinosaur. Arr! Um, no. <laughs> Here we go. Aladdin and the Magical Lamp. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there lived a totally awesome dude named Aladdin. Oh, wow, hey, I'm a totally awesome dude named Aladdin. <laughs> awesome, yes, but also very unlucky. Huh? Aladdin was always getting into trouble, like the time he accidentally stowed away on a pirate ship. Huh? Whoa, that's a long way down. <laughs> oh, I like your hat. <laughs> or like the time he got swallowed by a whale. Oh, they got you too, huh? No, I quite 
like it in here. Yeah, I don't believe you. Or, like this one time, he almost met a really cool princess, which, by the way, was a huge no-no. You see, the princess's father was a very bad king, and he wouldn't let the princess even talk to any of the poor townspeople. But Aladdin bravely walked up and said, Hi, I'm Aladdin, and you must be Princess... Whoa! A tiger! A tiger! A tiger! Run, Aladdin, run! Uh, <laughs> if only I could find a clever place to hide. Whoa, hey! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, a cave. Huh. That was close. <laughs> Aladdin quietly crept further into the cave just to be totally 100% sure that the tiger couldn't find him. Only problem was, it was... Dark! Who turned out the lights? Jeez, I can't even see my... Whoa! I wish I had a nightlight. Did somebody say, I wish? <laughs> wow, how did that happen? Woo! Hey! Who are you? I am a genie, but you can call me Bob. You, uh, you fell on my lamp, must have, uh, rubbed it a little bit, because that's how these things work. Oh, and bonus, I'm also a magician. Wanna see me pull a rabbit out of my hat? Oh, yeah, I love magic. Alakazambra Kapow. <laughs> uh, rabbit spell go. Hola, kids. Bunny Kazam! Ah, oh, put it back in there! Put it back in there! Put it back in there! Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. It it's a small cave. Sorry. I still have my learner's permit, but rest assured, I am a wonderful genie. Granting wishes is my speciality. Oh, and you have two more wishes, by the way. Two more wishes? Mm -hmm. Sounds. But be careful what you wish for. Not every wish is a good one. Like that kid that wished for nonstop pizza. Uh, too much pizza. Well, I'm going to wish for true love with the most beautiful girl in the world. The princess. She's so cool. I heard she has a trampoline and a pool and a golden retriever and an Xbox. She's so neat. Wait, I can't just show up looking like this. She's a princess and I'm just a poor boy from a Poor family. So even if you cast your love spell, everyone will see that I'm not a rich prince. And they'll know my real secret, Genie. Well, you still got two wishes left. Number one, wish to be rich. Number two, wish for the princess to love you. Mm -hmm. And three, please call me Bob. <laughs> oh, sure, Bob. No worries. Well, this is just all wrong. I want her to like me for me. I'm just gonna wish to get a chance to hang out with her. I wish... Uh, be careful what you wish for. I wish for a chance to hang out with the princess. <laughs> <laughs> you wish to hang out with the princess, so you're hanging out. Ah, uh, yes. Aladdin has just wished to hang out with the princess. And as you can see, they're quite literally hanging out. You wish to hang out with the princess, so... You're hanging out. Well, I didn't mean to hang out the window. <sighs> Don't get mad at me. Next time, be more specific. <sighs> um, hello. A little less talking, a little more rescuing. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Um, I'll save you, princess. <sighs> okay. Huh? How do I do that, Baba? A little help here. Well, I have to say, I wish. <sighs> and use my last wish? <sighs> well. I could try some magic. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alakazam! Uh, oh, there's my bunny. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Abracadabra! Oh, that's not right. Oh, oh, I wish I could save Aladdin and the princess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that worked. Cool. I did not know I could grant my own wishes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so crazy. <laughs> oh, totally. It's so weird. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> Wait a minute. I recognize you. I I've seen you before. You're Aladdin. <gasps> and who is this? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 
no, the jig is up. Uh, 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 he's a genie, uh, and his name is Bob, and he... And so Aladdin explained the whole situation about Bob the genie and the wishes. He told the princess he really just wanted to get to know her and hang out and probably play video games just for a bit. Maybe use the castle pool and water slide and trampoline for a few times. No big deal, but he really just wanted her to like him. And I understand if you want me to leave. <laughs> oh, I suppose I can use my last wish to just get out of here if that's what you want. Wait, you have a last wish? Yeah. <gasps> hey, we could share the wish. Huh, anything you want to do. We could go to Egypt and see the pyramids or go to Mars or to Disneyland or... <gasps> Whoa. What if I wish that we could fly around the world on a magic carpet ride? Gee, imagine that. A totally different place. Well, how about we wish that we could get married? Well, you could never marry a poor guy like me. Yes, I could. I think you're a total prince, and I don't care what anyone else says. Um, I'm not really supposed to help you think of wishes, but it seems like you two could uh, think about getting married later and then use that wish now to do something super duper crazy fun. I kind of like that Disney World idea. Have you guys ever been to Space Mountain? Oh yes, that's perfect. Thanks, Bob. Oh yeah, we owe you one. Okay, cool. Hey, does this mean I get to go to Disney with you? You get this whole new Frozen section. I am so there. Miss Booksy? Miss Booksy? Can I be in the story now? I want to go to Disneyland with Aladdin and the princess, too. <laughs> sure, of course you can. Let's go. Just wiggle your nose and snap your fingers like this. I have to bring my little sister, Katie. She loves Disney. Yeah! <laughs> we can go to the Bippity Boppity Boutique. Ha, we? Ha, I'll be at the Hall of Presidents. And that's how it all went down, kids. Aladdin and the princess, they really liked each other. They didn't need any love spells or riches. They were like two peas in a pod. They were like ice cream and hot fudge. They were like hamburgers and pickles. <laughs> Pizza and liver. Yeah! Okay, fine. You get the idea. <laughs> they liked each other. And this is the best part, kids. They all lived happily ever after. The end.